Yes, you mad Etsy people, we're back with another trending one. This one's a Christmas trending one. You're going to love this one. Guys, as usual, I got some trends for you today, some nugget finding, science-based validated designs that I know you need to know about for Christmas. And you're going to say to me, but AJ, why is it you're doing it now? It's like months away. Well, you got to list up early. Those of you that know, know you need to list up early. Get your designs ready. Get it listed quickly before everybody else does it, mate. And you need to just ride that wave, mate. But as usual, if you love Etsy products, you love creating, your searching, listing, all of that mad Etsy stuff, then please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell to get more of my videos in your feed, mate, in your feed. So check this out. We're looking at this one. Look, I'm going to show you some trends that obviously designs that have sold in the past that i believe will be continuing in 2024 and selling really well and also some slightly newer ideas that are coming up and are going to be trending as well so check this out look at this one this one's the gnome now the gnome did really well last year right gnome with a hat gnome especially this gnome this particular design where you got the hat covering the eyes this is the gnome that you need to be designing if you're going to do gnomes right but this is a prime example of a really good christmas design where you've got the lamppost you've got all the other parts of it the mistletoe and all of those lovely bits that christmas has with the christmas jumper and all of that loveliness in a really high quality design style and you know there's many of these ones in this uh in this um bundle right really nice PNGs, right? But what you have to understand is that the gnome is uh, associated with Christmas now. So as with gingerbread, snowmen, um, gnomes, obviously, uh, you got crackers, wherever it is that is associated traditionally with Christmas will still be selling really well. But it's about what flavor you give it, what angle you do with it. And and for me, I'd always like to mash it up with something that is trending, that's working quite well. And I'll be touching on that throughout this video. So stay tuned, mate. And you know, this is a really one, this is a staple diet one in terms of Christmas. This is going to continue and this will always sell. But it's about what you do with it. And it's about what angle you go with it, right? So obviously for me, I would do a mashup in a different style. It could be a breakthrough style. It could be a coquette bow, bow tie style. But I'm going to talk about that in a little bit more detail. So gnomes is one, right? Let's move on to the next one. Now, another design style that did fantastically well last year, Christmas, was the Highland Cow. Now, the Highland Cow is a staple diet now. You get Highland Cows with all sorts of things. But once you put a Christmas hat on a Highland Cow, then it becomes Christmassy. Once you put a bit of snow behind it, it becomes Christmassy. Once you add a little snowman next to the Highland Cow, it becomes Christmassy. So it's about having something that it works every single Christmas. And the Highland Cow, it works in Christmas now. It's about what do you add to it? How do you stand out from the crowd? So obviously, the, the Santa hat style worked really well. They also, some people added a breakthrough style with the Highland Cow. Some people added those other bits of flavors like the cheetah print and leopard print and other bits to it that also worked well. However, just remember the elements that Christmas has. Like I said, the snowman, the snow, um, you've got Christmas, um, the gnomes as well. It could be a mashup between a gnome and a Highland Cow as well, right? It could be things like coquette, bow tie with a Highland Cow somehow. You've got to think about what elements you can add or mash up with it. But know that the Highland cows are still going to be selling well over the Christmas period. But I want you to think about what kind of elements are you going to add to it? What kind of design style would you mash up with it that is going to really elevate it and stand out from everybody else? And this is what you need to do. So possibly a Santa hat might work in a certain style, but I think it needs more elements to actually stand out from the crowd. And what I mean by different elements is this is a prime example of what I'm talking about, something that I believe is going to work really well. So what you've got, you've got this pink pastel coquette bow tie style, and you've got the Christmas flavor mixed in with it. And you can see that you've got those Christmas elements like Santa, the gingerbread man, Christmas tree, presents, and a reindeer, right? That works in the kind of pink pastel style really, really well. And this is what I'm talking about, mashing up styles with design, with a, with a time of year. So Christmas with the coquette style. And remember, I did speak about how Halloween also did mash up designs between coquette again with um you know the time of year 
and they had bats and orange colors. So you have to really pick up on these kind of trending styles because that is what really pushes and elevates it. When people like a design style and you mash it up with the time of year, then that's where the magic happens. So you really need to understand how that design process works. And you know, this is a new listing and it's already making money. It's only a one month old listing. It's got 20 plus in a basket, boom. And it's already making cash. And look how early it is right now, the time of doing this video from Christmas. It is a no brainer, mate. This is how you make the cash. So understand these coquettes. Think about how you're going to mix in the coquette with Christmas. What are you going to do, right? If you check out my Halloween trends one, it was a coquette with a pumpkin. It's a big bow tie with a pumpkin in a watercolor style. But what can you do to stand out? Now, there's another element to this where you've got the 333. And what I mean by that is you've got the Santa, coquette, bow tie, and a gingerbread. Those are three elements. At the top, you've got another three elements there and another three. So there is also that style where you have three, three, three elements and people seem to like that too. And guys, here's another one that did really, really well last year, last Christmas. It really smashed it. And I tell you where it smashed it. It smashed it in ornament, right? These ornament designs, these PNGs absolutely flew off the shelf. They were crazy profitable. And it's called a breakthrough style, right? And I want you to go to Etsy and type this in breakthrough style. They were selling it on tumblers, mugs, everything, clip arts. They were selling on so many different types of products out there. This, this kind of design style. I did a video on it also back in the day. But you know what? This is also going to be selling because at the moment people are listing up and they are still selling. But obviously, depending on what product you do sell it will depend on how much you can actually make. So, for example, with these kind of ornaments, they were absolutely amazing. Right. And, you know, you have to mix it up with that. And it makes sense because the breakthrough style is literally about breaking through a wall and it's an ice wall or a snow wall. And then you've got the character coming through and people were doing these kind of breakthroughs with so many different things. Things. Not only like Santa, uh, they were doing Highland Cow breakthroughs. They were doing their pet breakthroughs. You can do personalization, custom kind of breakthroughs. So really look into this because I believe this one is still going to be selling quite strongly in 2024. Um, but like I said, there are certain products that do better than others, just like with anything. Sometimes you've got designs that really work well with t-shirt designs and not so strong in tumblers and maybe okay with mugs. So, you know, you really have to do your research and see what product they sell best in so that you can maximize on the profits. But definitely look at the breakthrough style because I think it's fabuloso. And look, really, the other ones that really just do well year in, year out. And you know what? There are those kind of evergreen-esque sort of Christmas ones. Doesn't have to be design trending ones, could be evergreen-esque. And what I mean by that is just simply focus on a element for Christmas. So in this case, you can see pink pastel in these kind of Christmas balls, right? And I like, I like things like this because it's almost like uh, niche down. So, you know, try to think of an element where you've niched down to like pink Christmas baubles. It's absolutely perfect, you know? And, and this works really well because people, when they come on the Etsy uh, platform, they are looking for something in particular. So it might be, and I did see this a lot last year where gingerbread, and it was different types of gingerbread, different sizes, different looks and so on, but in a pink pastel gingerbread style, they were doing really well. You got these Santa pink, uh, Santa uh, style in a sort of vintage or pink pastel style were working really well. So what I mean by this is niching down on something on a particular element for Christmas can absolutely work really well. And you could do different design styles for it as well. And actually, sometimes if you're doing something like clip art, you could do bundles for it. If you're doing tumblers, you could also do uh, tumbler wraps for it, bundles as well. So I think it's a really good idea to always niche down to something. So you're almost like you're owning that niche. You, you own it. You know, you are the bulbul guy or the reindeer, Christmas reindeer guy or the, the gingerbread guy, whatever it is. And you own that and they know you as that. Or you could actually do different, you know, niches and, and do lots of those. Right. So you could do gingerbread bundle. You know, you could do reindeer bundle, Christmas tree bundle in a certain specific style. So it might be a whimsical style. It might be like a pink pastel style, vintage style. You know, there are many mashups that you can do or mix ups that you can do to really, you know, do well this Christmas. But 
definitely Christmas elements will do well in the pink pastel. They're still going to be doing well. In that vintage style, they're still going to do really, really well. So there are, if you like, those evergreen designs that will continue and sell really well. And then there's also those up and coming, you know, design styles, you know, that, that you need to mix in with the traditional. Sometimes you mix in the new with the old and then you've got magic that happens, mate. And it is a crazy flavor. Look, I'm going to do an updated video as the months come up to Christmas where I'm going to really delve in and try to get you some more design trends. So stay tuned. But if you did like the video, please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you get more of my videos in your feed, mate, in your feed. Take care.